Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful mermaid tail. I will be using this uh, yarn, it's medium number four. It's baby pink and it has seven ounces. I will be using a 5.5 millimeters crochet hook, a measuring tape and scissors. Okay, you will also need a four millimeters hook and hot glue. We're going to start by making one magic circle like this. Make one chain. Now working in the magic circle, we are going to be making six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now pull this to close the magic circle and make one slip stitch here on the first single crochet made like this. For the second round, chain one, we're going to be making one single crochet on each stitch. One, two, three. We have six single crochets. Now make one slip stitch on the first single crochet made like this. For the round number three, chain one, going back to the same space, make one single crochet. On the next uh, uh, stitch, we're going to be making two single crochets. One, two. Next stitch is going to be one single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochets one and two okay make one single crochet on the next stitch and two single crochets on the last stitch now we should have nine single crochets make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made chain one and going back to the same space we're going to be making one single crochet for the uh, round number four we are going to be making one single crochet on each stitch at the end we should have nine single crochets. I have nine single crochets. Now make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. For the number five, chain one, going back to the same space, make one single crochet. Go to the next uh, stitch and make one single crochet. On the third stitch, we are going to be making one increase. One and two single crochets into the same space. Make one single crochet on each of the next two stitches. One, two. Next stitch is going to be two single crochets in the same space. One and two. Okay, repeat this sequence one more time. A slip a stitch to join. Chain one. And for the round number six, we're going to be making one single crochet on each stitch around. At the end, we should have 12 single crochets just make one single crochet on each stitch around At the end of the round number six we should have 12 stitches from now on we are going to be working in a spiral way taking the back loop of this each stitch um, on the first stitch we're going to be making one half double crochet so we are here this is the last uh, single crochet made yarn over going through the this first stitch that we made on this round taking the back loop insert your hook 
pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all the loops on your hook, and we have one half double crochet made. Now you have um, two choices. You can use one um, marker like this or just a piece of uh, yarn. I want you to go ahead and mark the first stitch, the half double crochet that we made. And on the next two stitches, we are going to be making double crochets, taking the back loop. So we're going to make one double crochet on the next stitch, one double crochet on the next stitch. On the next stitch, we are going to be making two double crochets. One and two. Okay, as you can see, we are taking only the back loop of, of the stitch. We're going to be making one double crochet on three stitches. One. Two. Three. And on the next stitch, we are going to be making one increase. One and two double crochets into the same space. Repeat this sequence one more time. At the end of the round number seven, we should have 15 stitches. Now we have the marker here. Remove your marker. And make one double crochet in this stitch. Remember that we are going to, we are taking the back loop of the stitches make one double crochet and i will change my marker this is like easy to carry on so i will just grab my yarn and pass it through the this uh, stitch here but you like these ones better that's okay for this round we're going to be making one double crochet on four stitches and on the number five we're going to be making the increase so we have one, two, three, and four. On the number five, we're going to be making two double crochets into the same space. One increase, one and two. Make one double crochet on each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. On the next stitch, make one increase. It means we're going to be making two stitches in the same space. One and two. Okay, I want you to uh, repeat the, the same sequence one more time. One double crochet on four stitches and on the number five, you're going to be making one increase. At the end of the round number eight, we should have 18 stitches. Now for the round number nine, we're going to be making, you can just take your yarn and pass it to the side like this between the hook and your other yarn and make one double crochet for this round uh the number five we, i mean the number nine we're going to be making one double crochet on five stitches i have one two three four and five on the number six, we are going to be making one increase. We're going to put two stitches into the same space, like this. I want you to repeat the same sequence two more times. You're going to be making one, two, three, four, and five double crochets. And on the next stitch, you're going to be making two double crochets. At the end of the round number nine, we should have 21 stitches. Now for the number 10, we are going to, okay, now take your yarn and pass it to the back like this between the hook and the yarn. Go to the first stitch and make one double crochet. 
And for this round, we're going to be making one double crochet on six stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, on the next stitch, we're going to be making the increase. Just put two double crochets into the same space. One and two. Okay, you have to repeat the same sequence two more times. It means that you're going to make one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. And then on the number seven, you're going to be making one increase. At the end of the round to number 10, we should have 24 stitches. Now we're going to start the round to number 11. Don't forget to, to uh, pass your turn, your marker to the other side. And for this one, we're going to be making one double crochet on seven stitches. So go to the first stitch and make one double crochet. Next stitch is going to be one. I have two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches. On the next stitch, we're going to be uh, making the increase, put two double crochets into the same space, one and two. Okay, for the number 11, you're going to be making one double crochet seven times, and on the number eight, you're going to be make, uh, making the increase Go ahead and repeat this, the same sequence two more times. At the end of the round number 11, we should have 27 stitches. And now for the number 12, we're going to be making one double crochet on eight stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stitches. On the next is the number nine, we're going to be making one increase. One and two. I want you to repeat the same sequence two more times. You're going to be making one um, double crochet eight times. And with the number seven, you're going to be making the increase. If at the end of the round number 12, we should have 30 stitches. For the next round, we are going to be making one double crochet on five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and on the stitch number six, we're going to be making one increase. One and two. So make one double crochet on one, two, three, four, and five stitches, and on the number six, make um, two double crochets. Just keep repeating this to the end. End of the round number 13, we should have 35 stitches. Now for the number number 14, we're going to be making one double crochet on six stitches. Go to the first one and make one double crochet. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the number seven, we're going to be making two double crochets. One and two. Make one double crochet on one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, and on the next stitch, you have to make two double crochets. Keep repeating this sequence to the end. Okay, 40 stitches at the end of the round of number 14. For the number 15, we're going to be making one double crochet on seven stitches. One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ऑन दिस डिज नंबर एट वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग द इंक्रीज पुट टू डबल क्रोशेट्स इनटू दिस सेम स्पेस ओके आह फॉर द नंबर फोर फिफ्टीन वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग वन डबल क्रोशेट सेवेन टाइम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन इन ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्टिच यू आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग वन इंक्रीज जस्ट कीप रिपीटिंग दिस सीक्वेंस अराउंड द राउंड नंबर फोर फिफ्टीन वी शुड हैव फोर्टी फाइव स्टिचेस एट द एंड ऑफ द राउंड नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड नाउ फॉर द नंबर सिक्सटीन वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग वन डबल क्रोशेट एट टाइम्स Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. On the next stitch, we're going to be making one increase. Put two double crochets into the same space. One and two. Okay, for the round number sixteen, we are going to be making one double crochet eight times, and on the next stitch, we are going to be making the increase. Just keep repeating this around. Okay, at the end of the round sixteen, we have fifty stitches. Now for the number seventeen, we are going to be making one double crochet on nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine double crochets. On the next stitches, we're going to be making the increase. Make two double crochets into the same space. One. And two. This is the sequence we're going to be working on the seventeen, making one double crochet nine times, and then on the next stitch, uh, we're going to be making the increase. The end of the round number seventeen, we have fifty-five stitches, and now for the number eighteen, we're going to be working on ten stitches first, and then we're going to be making the increase. So make one double crochet on ten stitches. I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the next stitch, we're going to be making the increase. Put two double crochets into the same space. Okay, I want you to repeat this sequence around, making one double crochet on ten stitches, and on the number eleven, you're going to be making the increase. The end of the round number eighteen, we have sixty stitches, and now for the number nineteen, I will be making only two increases. So, make one stitch on the first. A stitch in on the next stitch we're going to be making two double crochets one and two okay I have one increase and I need to make only one more increase so just keep making double crochets maybe to the when you get to this point here okay, I did 26 stitches after I did my increase here. So I did 26 stitches all the way to here. And here is where I'm going to be making my increase. One and two. Now I, we will have 62 uh, double crochets. Um, now I will finish my round making one double crochet on each stitch. And I will be back with you. Finish here with the round number 19. We have now 62 double crochets. And I will keep working until I have about 9 inches. 
but I will um I will start counting my inches maybe from this round here. So I will keep working until I have nine inches, about three or four more rounds, making one double crochet on each stitch. Remember that we are taking the back loop of the stitch only. So pull my yarn here. And I will just make one double crochet on each stitch. Uh, maybe two or three more rounds. I want to mark my round here because we are not going to make more increases. So I will continue working, uh, just making one double crochet, taking the back loop, and I will be back with you and tell you how many rounds more I did. Okay, this is the round number 19. Uh, uh, on this round, we made two increases, so 19. And then on the 20, we start uh, making one double crochet on each stitch. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. But to continue, um, we are going to change uh, here the last two stitches. On the next stitch, we are going to be making... Okay, on the last two stitches, we're going to be making one half double crochet and on the last stitch we're going to be making one single crochet like this i will be changing my hook for the round number 26 i will use a four millimeter hook okay. on the last two stitches here we did a half double crochet and one single crochet for the number 26 using the four millimeter hook chain one and turn Make one single crochet on each stitch around. Okay, just continue making one single crochet on each stitch around. You will be making the last uh, single crochet here on where we have the, the marker. Now chain one and turn. This is going to be the last um, round here so going back to the fourth stitch make one single crochet and for this round we're going to be making one single crochet on each stitch around and i believe is the round number 27 so just make one single crochet on each stitch to the end when you finish here just make one chain and cut the yarn Okay, the length is 15 inches, but uh, maybe the feet are going to be from here to the waist. We have 10 inches and enough space for a baby zero to three months. And the widest part of the tail is about 16 inches. Well, about 16 inches and a half. And the waist is about 14 inches. Okay, for the next part, we're going to be placing the sack upside down like this. We're going to be working with the 5.5 millimeter hook again. Start by making a slip uh, knot on your hook like this. And we are going to start right here on this stitch. We have the marker here, so on this loop here, we are going to be inserting the hook right there and make one single crochet like this. We are going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and on the number four, we are going to be making eight double crochets. One, two, Three, oops, sorry. Four, 
five, six, seven, and eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Skip three stitches. One, two, three, and on the number four, make one single crochet. Skip three stitches. One, two, three, and on the number four, make eight double crochets. I have one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochets. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and on the fourth, make one single crochet. As you can see, we are uh, working on the front loops here. So the next step is going to be skip three stitches. One, two, and three, and on the next stitch, make on the next loop, make eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stitches. Skip three stitches and make one single crochet. Okay. I will keep uh, working like this and I will come back to you and I will let you know how many of these uh, shells I made. Okay, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen shells uh, with um, eight double crochets. Uh, we're going to end with a single crochet. And for the next part, we are going to be skipping only two stitches. So skip one and two. And on the third loop, make seven double crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip two stitches, one and two, and make one single crochet. And for this one, I will use this marker. I will mark the first uh, shell with seven double crochets. Skip two stitches or two loops, one and two, and on the third, make seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one and two loops, and on the third, make one single crochet. I will continue working like this, and I will come back and I will tell you how many of the shells with seven double crochets I did. Okay, with, with seven stitches, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we're going to be making uh, shells with um, six stitches. Skip two stitches and make six double crochets into the next space. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I will mark my first shell with six double crochets. Skip two loops, one and two, and on the third, make one single crochet. Skip two loops, one, two, and on the next, make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip two loops, and on the third, make one single crochet. I will continue making um, shells with six double crochets, and I will come back with you. 
Okay, with six, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, with six uh, double crochets. I finished here with my single crochet. Now we're going to be skipping two stitches uh, again, one and two, and on the third, make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five stitches, skip one and two loops, and on the Next one, make one single crochet. Don't forget to mark the first uh, shell with five double crochets. I did my um, single crochet there. I will skip one and two loops, and on the next, we're going to be making five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches and make one single crochet and I will continue like this and come back to you. I am done doing the shells with five double crochets. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, and 21 shells with five double crochets. I finished here with my single crochet. And now we're going to be skipping only one stitch. So skip this loop here and on the next make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four double crochets. Skip one stitch and on the next, we're going to be making one single crochet. Skip one stitch and make four double crochets in the next one, two, three, four. Skip one stitch and make one single crochet in the next. Skip one stitch and make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, skip one stitch and make one single crochet. Oh, I forgot to place my marker. This is the first one that I made with four double crochets. Okay, with four stitches, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 um, shells with four double crochets. I have my single crochet there. I will skip one stitch and on the next, I will make three double crochets. One, two and three skip one loop and on the next make one single crochet skip one stitch and make three double crochets one two and three skip one and on the next one single crochet now we're going to finish the whole uh, thing uh, with three double crochets so i will Keep working on it and I will come back with you. Just keep repeating. Single crochet, skip one, make three double crochets, skip one and one single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, to finish, I make one single crochet and now we're going to be making two slip stitches. Chain one and now you can cut the turn. Okay, we are done with this part. As you can see, it's all messy, but 
and we'll uh, fix this later on. Okay, for the fin, we're going to uh, leave about 20 inches of yarn, and we're going to be making chains. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have 24 chains. We're going to start on the second chain from the hook. We make one half double crochet. Continue making one double crochet on each chain across. I have 23 half double crochets. For the second round, chain one and turn. And from now on, we are going to be working on the back loop of the stitches. So we have one chain here and then we have the half double crochet. Make one half double crochet taking the back loop and continue making one half double crochet taking the back loop of the stitch until you have one stitch left. Okay, in total you should have 22 half double crochets. We are going to leave the last stitch on work. Now chain one and turn. We are going to be making one decrease. So insert your hook in the first half double crochet here, pull up a loop, go to the next stitch and, make, and insert your hook, pull up a loop. We have four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all the four loops on the hook. We did a half double crochet decrease. Continue making half double crochet to the end. I have 20 stitches here, I need to make the last one. For the number 21, we're going to be taking both loops of the stitch like this and now we have 21 stitches for the next round chain one and turn we're going to be making one half double crochet on each stitch 20 times uh, taking the back loop of the stitch only let's continue I have 20 half double crochets we're going to be leaving the last stitch in work chain one and turn and we're going to be making a decrease again. Half double crochet two together on the first two stitches. Now finish this row on making one half double crochet to end. Have 19 stitches, chain one and turn, and now we're going to be making one half double crochet 18 times. Taking the back loop. I have 18 half double crochets, chain one and turn, make one half double crochet decrease here, finish making one half double crochet across. I have 17 stitches, chain one and turn, we're going to be making one half double crochet across, 16 stitches, uh, this one we're going to leave it right there so for the next row chain one and turn we are going to be making a decrease in the first two stitches and now finish uh, making one half double crochet um, to the end 15 stitches for this round for this row so I have 15 stitches now I will make chain one and turn and I will be making one half double crochet on 14 stitches. One, two, three. I have 14 stitches. Remember that we are going to leave the last stitch on work. Chain one and turn, make a decrease here on the two, on the first two stitches. We have four loops on the hook and the decrease is ready. Continue making one half double crochet to the end. Have 13 stitches, chain one and turn, and now I will make one half double crochet 12 times. Two, three, four, five. Have 12 stitches here. I will chain one and turn, and I will make a decrease in the first two stitches and I will finish making one half double crochet to end ok 
Okay, I have 11 stitches. And now we're going to start increasing this way. So for that, we're going to be making one chain and make one half double crochet on each stitch until you have one. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to be making one increase here on the last stitch, but taking both loops of the stitch, okay? So instead you hook here, taking both loops of the stitch and make one and two half double crochets. We have our first increase. So first we were like um, decreasing and now we're going to start increasing. Chain one and turn. We're going to be making two half double crochets in the first stitch. One and two. We have our decrease here. Finish this uh, row making one half double crochet across. Thirteen stitches now for the next row. Uh, chain one and turn. Make one half double crochet on each stitch on 12 stitches so you just keep making one half double crochet until you have 12. i have 12 half double crochets and on the last stitch we're going to be making an increase so make two half double crochets into the same space now we have 14 stitches now chain one and turn make two half double crochets in the first stitch one and two and just finish making one half double crochet on each stitch to the end chain one and turn make one half double crochet 14 times and on the last stitch we are going to be making one increase fourteen stitches and on the last I will make two half double crochets so fifteen and sixteen stitches now we have five, uh, 16 stitches for the next one chain one and turn uh, make one and uh, two half double crochets in the first stitch and finish making one half double crochet to the end so you're going to be making your increase and then one half double crochet across okay i have 17 stitches for the next one we're going to be making one double crochet on 16 stitches and on the last one we're going to be making one increase okay, I have 16 stitches on the last stitch we're going to be making two half double crochets one and two now we have 18 chain one and turn make two half double crochets in the first stitch and keep making one half double crochet um, across and at the end we should have 19 stitches we have 19 stitches for the next row chain one and turn we're going to be making a one half double crochet 18 times and on the last stitch we're going to be making two half double crochets on the last stitch make two half double crochets taking the both loops of the stitch one and two and now we should have 20 stitches chain one and turn on the first stitch make uh, two half double crochets one and two and finish making one half double crochet across at the end we should have 21 stitches Okay, for the next row, chain one and turn. We're going to be making uh, one half double crochet 20 times and on the last stitch, we're going to be making one increase. You just continue making your half double crochet across. Uh, two, make two half double crochets on the last stitch. 
one and two, and now we have 22 stitches. Chain one and turn, make one half double crochet in the first stitch, I mean, make two half double crochets on the first stitch, sorry about that, <laughs> and finish making one half double crochet across. At the end, we should have 23 stitches. Here then just make one chain and cut the yarn. I have here my tapestry needle ready. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the stitches like this. finish with this part and do not forget to secure this um, tail that we left at the beginning just make one or two knots we're going to be okay first you need to make sure that um, you're going to place the tail right here in the middle. We're going to be sewing the tail to this uh, bottom piece here of the sack. If you want, you can just use a marker and attach these two together. And arrange this thing like this. Okay, this is the middle of the thing. Just make sure it's aligned to the to this the bottom of the sack. And when you have it ready, you can use the other yarn here to make a knot. Okay, now we can start um, sewing the thing on the last um, row here with single crochet And continue those stitching. Okay. Don't forget to make a knot to secure it, and it's done. Okay, as you can see, these ones we don't need to put hat glued here but maybe starting on this one here you're going to be folding them with your fingers and add a little bit of hat glue and fold it down like this go to the next um, row and do the same thing
and you just keep doing the same process until the end and we are going to be doing that same thing for the back as well okay, just like that when you are done doing one part just turn it and we're going to be repeating the same process for the other side too we don't put too much here okay just like that Okay, I am almost finished here. You can go back and make sure you had glue all the shells down. Missing oh, one here. Okay, just, I just uh, put a little bit of hot glue here in the corner and then you can just fold it like this. Okay, and we are done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the process was clear to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like for future videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.